TV. This time to Carter Finley Stadium, Raleigh, North Carolina. Outdoors, this is Monster Truck Challenge, featuring the best monster trucks in the world, including the homecoming to North Carolina of the Carolina Crusher and Gary Porter. And for the first time during this season, Dennis Anderson aboard the Grave Digger. It's all coming up next here on Monster Truck Challenge on ESPN, the Total Sports Network. everybody and welcome to another round of monster truck challenge we're in raleigh north carolina this week and look who's back with us on his feet again dennis anderson of gravedigger fame the leg has been injured but now it's healed yeah it's uh my leg's not 100 percent yet but um it will be because my legs come a long ways in the last uh six weeks uh, i've been out on the road uh six weeks now testing this new truck trying to get it dialed in so we could come in here and run with these elite fleet guys here you know and we're just going to give them all we got tonight. But it's got to feel great to be back out here. It really does. You know, I was, I was kind of stuck there at home, but being home, it wasn't all that bad. I, I, got a lot of, I got a lot of plans for the future while I was home. I had time to sit down and think about what I was doing, and it really gave me some time off off of the road mainly, and it uh, gave me a lot of good time with my family too. Going to dig a grave this weekend for somebody? I tell you, we might not dig a grave for them, but we're going to start a <laughs> hole for them anyway. <laughs> there you go. Dennis Anderson of Gravedigger fame. Going to try his luck this week in Raleigh, North Carolina. Let's go trackside. Here's Joe Lowe. Thank you, Ken. A great night for racing at Carter Finley Stadium in Raleigh, North Carolina. Under the stars and ready to rock and roll. And here's the reigning world champion, Jackie Wilman and Taurus in his qualifying run. But Jackie is worried because the man is here in his home state and he's back in the saddle. Dennis Anderson and the Gravedigger are fastest qualifier. Dennis back with us on Monster Truck Challenge, driving a brand new Gravedigger after a knee injury that kept him out the early part of this season. Our Jim Clark is with Dennis Anderson, and they talk about tonight's race. Dennis Anderson, Gravedigger, your first big race since uh, your injury, and you're back here in Raleigh, North Carolina, as the fastest qualifier tonight. Yeah, I tell you, that makes me feel kind of proud, you know, because I've been out for a while. I've been doing a little hit and miss races here and there, trying to get the truck, the bugs worked out. It's a new truck, um, but I tell you, I'm really proud of myself right now because I came out and I pulled off the fastest qualifying, and uh, I'm running against some tough guys out here. I mean, the competition is tough. The main thing is just trying to hold myself back, control myself, so I don't pull too hard of a hole shot and get too much air off that first pile. If I can keep her down on the ground making tracks, we'll beat them. Same old Dennis, and of course, as the fastest qualifier, he gets lane choice all night. First round, he'll go against Bill Weaver and Rambo. The Keystone Cruncher and Dan Patrick going against David Morris and the Equalizer. Rob Bush and First Blood is up against the Black Stallion. Torres takes on Carolina Crusher. And that's our first round matchups. Let's go down to the track where the Gravedigger is lining up against Rambo. Dennis Anderson in his first race of the 1992 season with a brand new track and the crowds letting him know they're behind him in his home state. Bill Weaver out of New York, ready to go aboard Rambo. He knows the Grave Digger is going to be a tough competitor in this first round competition. Here's a good shot of Bill Weaver. Hastings, New York, his hometown. He's piloting Rambo. Rambo, Grave Digger side by side. They square off for round number one. Dennis Anderson popping a wheelie after the first set of cars. Rambo digging down in the dirt. Things flying all over the place. And the wind goes to Gravedigger. Dennis Anderson back on this 92 circuit. Look at that truck. A brand new truck. The driver been studying. He's ready to go. And Dennis Anderson buries Rambo in round number one. A lot of bouncy bounce for Bill Weaver. 
but that more bounce to the ounce doesn't get you anywhere when you're going up against the high flying grave digger what is that that flew off the rambo truck there while bill himself was looking down there to see what it was we saw it fly off it seemed to be some kind of a cover our next round matchup between Rob Fuchs and First Blood, the big Ford out of Woodstock, Illinois. Rob's been doing real well on Monster Truck Challenge for 92. He goes up against the Black Stallion, Mike Vodders, out of Hagerstown, Maryland. This is going to be a great matchup between these two Ford pickups. The Monsters are ready. We're ready to go. Look at that pump of smoke coming out of Black Stallion. Woo! Black Stallion. A lot of smoke, but a win. In a photo finish against First Blood. And both of them down there on the, on the end of the track looking to see what the track officials have called it. The United States Hot Rod officials have said the win that goes to Black Stallion. You can see he has a nice lead there, but a puff of smoke. And Rob Fuchs with first blood almost catches him. Black Stallion holds on for the win. Let's check for the smoke now. There you see the right side of the engine. He backs off going over the first set of cars. When he gives it the gas again, again some more smoke comes out. This may spell the sign of trouble for later on tonight. But right now advancing to round number two, Black Stallion with a win over first blood. And here comes the Carolina Crusher, Gary Porter, going against the reigning world champion, Jackie Wilman and Torres at a Granite City, Illinois. But this is Carolina Crusher's home state, and the crowd loves to see Gary Porter at a Wadesboro, North Carolina. He wants to win badly as he goes up against Torres. Their stage, it's showtime. And a hole shot for the Crusher. But Torres sails on to victory with a come from behind. Gary Porter had to think he had that one with that hole shot. But I tell you, this guy Jackie Wilman can out horsepower just about anybody. He's a great driver, and his truck is up to the competition. Look at this. Over the second set of cars is where it was won as Torres clears that entire second set. And it's pretty clear right there, the win goes to Torres. They're neck and neck right here. Jackie's just driving. He's not even looking at the competition. But boom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine car lengths. And the win for Torres. Our next matchup, the Keystone Cruncher against the Equalizer. Here's Dan Patrick at a Circleville, Ohio, and Keystone Cruncher going up against David Morris at a Springfield, Tennessee, and Gary Cooks equalizer gary cook and david morris make up a great equalizer racing team the two chevys are lined up it's showtime in raleigh and i think keystone had him he did he had him on the line and he goes on to pick up the win the keystone cruncher surprises the equalizer and gets a win in raleigh Dan Patrick, one happy son of a gun right now. Watching it on the slow-mo cam. You can see the equalizer had the whole shot. And Cruncher comes from behind. And Dan Patrick is up there playing with the big boys aboard the Keystone Cruncher. And he joins Gravedigger, Black Stallion, and Taurus as they move to round number two on Monster Truck Challenge. Ken? So the round of eight produces one major surprise. Keystone, with Dan Patrick at the wheel, moves on to the round of four. Keystone was the slowest of all the qualifiers, but taking advantage of that engine trouble that Equalizer had, Keystone moves on to the next round. Gravedigger is there. He's the local favorite. We'll see how he does when we move to the semifinals, when Monster Truck Challenge continues here on ESPN in just a moment. <laughs> 